Hello Lord Mine people. What I'm going to talk about today is uh, a favourite pug bear of mine. I'm going to talk about lawn mowing standards and is it time to raise the bar? Now I often drive past a job and I look at a lawn and sometimes I think to myself what on earth was the lawn guy thinking? The edges are shabby and there's like chunks of grass on the lawn and the job looks horrible and I'm thinking why would somebody do a job like that? In fact, there's a lawn that I walk past with my dog in the weekends and it's a commercial property and I look at the lawn and it's got ridges in it, it's, it's cut at all different heights, it's, it's a really, really bad job. And I'm thinking to myself for the longest time, I'm thinking, must be the guys in the panel beating shop send someone out, one of their own guys out, to mow their lawn because, and I figured they must have their own lawn mower too because I didn't think it was done with a commercial mower. And then the other day I walked past and there's one of the largest landscaping businesses in New Zealand mowing that lawn. And the guy that's, that's doing the mowing uh, is, is cutting at all different heights and the guy that's doing the weed eating is actually going in the wrong direction with the machine. So go figure. And I, I know that sometimes when you employ people it can be hard to keep employees on track. I, that's one of the reasons that we stopped employing people when we reduced the size of our business back down to the two of us because when, when we had all these vehicles on the road we felt that our standards were starting to drop and it's really hard to find people that care as much about your own lawn mowing business as you do. So when we were working with people we even had an agreement with our workers that if they finished the day's work early then they could go home. But if a customer rang up and complained, then they went back and fixed up the job on their own dime. And that seemed to work okay, but it, it wasn't the answer. The good thing about working by yourself and having a one-man business or a small business is that if you're mowing the lawns, you have control of the standards of the job. And so you can make sure that the job looks good. Now. If you want a good business, you need to set high standards and you need to stick to them. Because how do you expect the customer to feel about a job if you walk away and you're not happy about it? Now we got our business to the top of the rankings on Google and we didn't do a whole lot of things. All we did was offer good customer service and it's amazing how far that'll get you. So what we do is we do a nice job, we always do the edges, we always leave the place looking good. If we get a quote, we answer the phone. If I'm actually talking to somebody and my phone rings, then I'll ignore the phone, finish talking to the customer because I always prioritize the person in front of me. But what I'll do is as soon as I step away, is I'll pick up the phone and ring back that number, providing I can see the number on my phone, of course. So I, I like to get back to people immediately. I like to answer the phone straight away, providing I'm not tied up on the phone or talking to a customer. And there's a name for this kind of thing and it's called good old fashioned service. And the fact that it's becoming less and less common is not a great thing, but it's one thing that you can use to make your business stand out. So using something like good old fashioned service can be a huge leap forward for your business if you decide to embrace it because you get known as the guy that does what he says he's gonna do, turns up on time every time, and it does a really good job. And you'll find that if you go out and you do that all the time like we did, then your phone will eventually start ringing off the hook and you'll get the choice of the jobs that you want and you'll have a brilliant business. So anyway, that's about all I've got to say today. So get out there, mow lawns, have fun and happy lawn mowing people.